in San Rafael we have a good place with very long long quantity of day without frost and permit us to to arrive to the ripeness in the different different variety also the Cabernet Sauvignon that is one of the longer longer variety to to picking uh, San Rafael have a very good range of temperature that permit to the vine to photosynthesize many hours per day. And if we join this scale with uh, the difference of temperature that we have between the day and the night, that we have around a 15 centigrade between the, the night and the day, we have a very good accumulation of compounds that during the day the plant produce that in the night he don't consume and the result of the balance is good compounds and accumulation in the, in the grains. We have uh, the soils that we have specific here in San Rafael, all is alluvional, the same origin that we have all the soil is in, in Argentina because we are so close of the mountain and, and the water go down and, and move all the earth. But here the compounds, uh, inside the compound of the soil, we have a very good uh, percentage of calcare that give us, a, for the grapes, a good, nat a good composition of natural acidity. Is that to say that we have more natural acidity than in other areas? And in, uh, in Argentina, that we need to add acid to to arrive a very good acid in the, in the wines in general. Here in San Rafael, we add l very, very small quantity. And this acidity in general, all the time, is integrated of the wine. For this, we have a, a land that in, in general we start to know like a, a sparkling land for in, in San Rafael.